How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Software Inc. And welcome back to Nerdresoft. Things are going pretty well. We are closing in on $300 million. And that basically puts us in a really good spot. That puts us right here. We are the fourth most valuable company on the market. We have 18 products. These guys have 25. These guys have one. These guys have 43. So it's hard to complain. We're doing really well for ourselves. I'm actually kind of curious. What do you guys even do? You do games, you do operating systems, you do audio tools, you do antivirus. You do a bit of everything, really. You got some 2D editors in there as well. Yeah, this company is probably our direct competitor then. So that's that's interesting to think about. Do we have the most fans out of, any, out of anybody? No, we're we're getting there though. We're definitely, definitely getting there. What else have we got? What do these guys with the 25 do? If we look at uh, look at your products, games and antivirus the entire way down. Okay. All right. So games and antivirus seems to be the way to go. I'm noticing a bit of a trend there. And then these guys with their one product, they did a phone operating system last year, well, a year and a bit ago, year and a couple of months ago. So I guess they started with a whole bunch of money. We'll see if they end up lasting because, I mean realistically they've got one product they have a lot of money but will you know will they be able to uh to make a success out of that or is that money all going to go to nothing now speaking of making successes i've made some changes to this area here i decided to do a little bit of detailing just in front of the uh of the office and i realize i need to go in here and change the texture on this path because it's not quite right there's the one i'm looking for so we have this going on over on this side i forgot to uh to detail this space and then I decided to go and buy this uh, lot as well. And I figured it would be a good idea to change it out for more parking. And the reason I did that was, I mean, you can tell I've got my couriers parking here now. So they're a little bit closer to the pallets. So they don't have to walk quite as far to pick things up. This parking here is for staff, I think. So that should mean, who are you? You are, yeah, my receptionists. So my receptionists, my cleaners, my maintenance people, they can all park in front of the building. My couriers can park over here. And then the rest of my people just park. Well, you can see where they park. They park over here. And I think, you know what? We're almost a $300 million company. We might want to consider maybe changing out these cars because they are, they're, they're definitely a choice. They are, <laughs> they are, they are definitely, definitely a choice. So employee benefits, let's give them a 25 yeah, $25,000 car seems like a great idea. I don't know if I want it to be in the same blue anymore, though. I think we're just going to go for, like, almost a black car with the Nerdresoft logo on the top. I think I think that's the way to go. So we're going to we're gonna apply that. That is going to be very expensive per employee. But it might look really cool when we have all those cars coming in. It might look silly, but it might look great. Scott Jones just missed out. Oh, that's another one from the audio team as well. That's, that is a bit rough. Oh, you know what? I think it was the right call going for the, uh, going for the black car. I will say the logo is just floating above the cars. It's not actually on the vehicle at all, which is, that's an interesting way to do things. But yeah, they're, they're pretty good looking vehicles. I'm sure my employees are going to be happy about that. And speaking of my employees, I kind of need some new ones because between episodes, I say between episodes, what actually happened is I sat down to record I looked over at my recording software and it wasn't recording. I built this entire thing and I used this as an example to be like, here's, you know, how we did the, the furnishing for all of these spaces because we didn't do any of the furnishing in the time lapse in the last episode. I did all of that. I walked through my process, my thought process, everything, and I wasn't recording any of it. And because it's such a small room, I figured, you know, not the end of the world. But what I'd like to do with this space, we have eight desks in here. I want to see if I can get a little office software development team. I want to see how many people we would need to start making some office software because it's just a default category. And I mean, by default, it's two, two and one, which is going to be interesting. If I throw audio in there, it's the same. If I throw networking in there, it's two, three and one. So it's six people in total systems in there brings it up to seven people in total. So realistically, I might need more than eight is is what I'm coming to realize here. But I wonder if we want to start out small and then build up to it. Maybe we just try and have this team be really, really highly skilled 
rather than going too crazy with all of this. So if I was to do auto page layouts and if I was to do interactive slides, I mean, that brings us up to needing eight people at the moment, which is fair enough. That might just be what we do. That that might be the way to uh, to go for this is just something really basic like that. So three designers, four programmers and one artist will make this thing like twenty nine dollars. And then in terms of a name, I mean, I, I publish letter. These are some I mean, they're good one word names. Office is definitely not what we're going to be going for. Office suite. I mean, maybe. Maybe this one does have like Nerdrasoft in the name and we just call it Nerdrasoft Suite. I don't know if I like it, but I'm pretty sure we can change it later on. So we're going to go with Nerdrasoft Suite. It's going to be in the development thing. Frameworks. I mean, I don't know if I need a framework for this. I'm not going to lie. I might use one. I don't love the idea of giving them royalties though. And it does seem unnecessary. So you know what? We'll do this and we'll just do the suite as the, uh, the framework name. The 2D editor for this guy, I mean, again, it'd be nice to use Canvas. It would be nice to use Canvas, but it's not got the tackle. You know what? We'll use Canvas. It's fine. Same with the audio thing. We'll use Wave 6 and that'll be all right. And then for operating systems, let's just go for... I mean, I'm going to go for the most recent one, I guess, and then we'll sort of port backwards from there just so that we don't take forever developing this thing. It's not going to take forever, but, you know, just in case. And then in terms of balancing, I mean, there's 39% expected interest. No one is really interested in this right now. Although it seems that focusing and word processing and presentation would be the way to go. So if we were to go down and say, give me a little bit more, I don't know, slide templates might be an idea. That's something people are interested in. Clip art is something people are interested in. What if I did both of those? I'm going to need a bigger team is what I'm getting at here. I might have to move them upstairs into a different space because I, I'm, I'm realizing that, yeah, this is just going to be a whole thing. Give me a give me a dictionary. I don't know if I want animations. Can I auto balance you for 94 percent? That's not bad. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go for something like this. We'll have to move this team elsewhere or just get a really good team, which is maybe what we're going to try and do. So let's go for none for the time being on all of this. We are going to need, I mean, it's level one everything, so that should be all right. And then we're not doing a publisher, so we we can probably manage this. We'll develop it. There's no one going to be working on it for right now. That's fine. This space can have eight. What does this need exactly? If we look at the, uh, the exact details here, I mean, it's going to need, it needs level, you know, 2D and systems, essentially, is what we're looking for. So we'll give that a shot. You know what I think might be an interesting idea? Taking out these two bathrooms... And by interesting idea, I mean potentially terrible idea, but it's what we're going to do because I just kind of want that space and I think I can maybe do some good here. I think this little office area is going to be more than enough for my uh, my office development team. I just I just need the extra space, really. So that's that's kind of what this is about. So we'll go ahead and just copy these computers. We will duplicate. We can swing it around. We can put it right about there. It is kind of blocking the door. But I'm 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 willing to allow it is is what I'm kind of willing to do. I don't I don't think I'm going to go for this one. I think we'll just do the two extra computers right there and that should be fine. I would like to get another bookshelf and put it there and there. I would also like to get another couple of paintings for these walls here. I should do some decorating in the hallways as well, but this will do for now. We'll get another TV for let's say this wall right about here. That might be a bit much, but I think it's fine. I, th I think it's all right. And that brings us up to what? 10 desks in here? That seems a little bit better. I, I think we can make that work. So what I think we'll do is three designers. We can do, well, maybe four, four and one. Four designers and four programmers, then one artist is, is what I think we're going to do. Then we have the team leader in here as well. I think that's the way we go. So we'll go to manage teams. We'll go to the office team. We'll go to the employees. We have this guy. This is going to be our team leader. He's actually quite good at it. If we look at his uh, his leadership skills, we've got HR and automation. So we can have this guy do pretty much everything we'd want him to do. So team leader primary, then this is all secondary and that's fine. If we then go back to the office team and go to HR management, we want to, we'll keep things paused while I do this. I also want to make sure 
Interesting. Okay, we'll get a designer in a second. What I think we'll do is handle wages, handle complaints, role selections, whatever. And let's see, education level, do this. We'll do maybe three of them at a time can be educated. And what was, what was it we wanted to do? Four, four. So that's eight and one is nine plus the leader is 10. Specializations are going to be systems, 2D. I think it was network and audio is what we were looking for for this guy. If we actually have a look, so 2D system, network, audio, creativity, operating system support, that's fine. Salaries are going to be high. And so if I run the game now, we are hopefully going to see the office team fill up. There we go. We have nine people. We should hopefully get one more. There we go. So that should keep us pretty good. We can assign a lead to it. We'll go for, I don't know, I'll go Stacy, I guess, as the uh, the lead on Nerdrasoft Suite. And here's hoping for some good things. Also, my accounting team actually did file the tax report, which is amazing news. So these guys should be coming in. They absolutely are. And Nerdsoft Suite is full steam ahead, which is great. I'm hoping it actually gets done relatively quickly. And I think what we'll end up doing is probably throwing this into some project management. I think this is something we can automate eventually. But for the time being, we can just keep it as something that I'm managing. Wait a minute. Longsword 4 has gone out? Interesting. Is it good? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Releases, Longsword 4, it's good, it's ordinary. The last one was great and ordinary. There's not a lot of marketing on it either. It did make a bit of money. It absolutely did make a bit of money, which is great. Let's get this thing uh, printed. We'll go for a maximum of 75,000 copies at any one time, which seems perfectly reasonable. Let's also start to port this thing. That seems like it would be an idea. And I'm also going to give this to the office team because I want them to have plenty to do. And there is a lot to port this to, which is great news. I'm wondering if wave six is worth porting as well. Oh, yeah. Absolutely get that over there. And then King Doom six. Is there anything it can go on? Oh, yeah. Absolutely get that going as well. Let's get all these port jobs going. It's going to take a little bit of time to, to do that. But honestly, I think it's going to be worth it. I absolutely do. Let's get Longsword 4 to be the top priority on the porting jobs since it is the most recent release. I'm kind of surprised that it's going as well as it is with uh, with Longsword. I wasn't really expecting it. I've been nominated for Best Employer and I got it again, which is fantastic news. I'm very pleased about that. Not really sure that we have the room for more awards, but you know what? We'll get rid of the plant. We'll go into here. We'll get ourselves the Best Employer for 2006. That's not, that's a lot of awards, man. I'm going to have to get another shelf. I'm absolutely going to have to get another, another shelf. I, wait, what do you mean I'm being robbed? What are you guys going to do? There's cameras there and that, wait a minute. Security, yeah, there we go. So security's just chasing them off. That's great. Oh, that is perfect. That's exactly why I have these guys here all night. So they can't get in that door. And if they do come in this one, there's security right there as well. That's perfect. That is, that is so good. I've also not been paying attention, but we do, I think, have... Yeah, we have some cooks going back and forth so everybody can get fed. We've got vending machines around the place as well. That's great. I wasn't paying any attention to this whole thing. I wanted to make sure it was working and... What are, what are they even... What is it? That looks like, what, mashed potatoes? That's got to be like... That's got to be like peas, right? And then that would be like... I don't know. Ground beef? So it's, it's like a deconstructed shepherd's pie or a deconstructed cottage pie. That's yeah, we'll go with that. That's <laughs> really, you know, really, really something, something to fuel you up and keep you going for the rest of the day. That's, that's what our, our cooks specialize in, I guess. That's yeah, perfect. And would you look at that? We have crossed the line. We have $300 million, which is a ridiculous amount of money. An absolutely ridiculous amount of money. Looking at our releases, it's Longsword pushing us forward a little bit. Wave 6 still pushing us forward as well. King Doom 6 actually has now passed the $100 million threshold as well, which is kind of weird to think about. I'm going to be honest. I'm also realizing we haven't done, we haven't done Canvas in 
over six years. We really should look into automating that as well. I do, I do think that's going to be something we do. Once we get doors, again, I've said this before, once we get doors out the door, I think automating things like canvas and vector, we're obviously going to be automating suite as well. I think just automating everything is going to end up being the way to go. With that said, this porting stuff is really slowing us down. I mean, obviously it's slowing us down. I've lowered the priorities on, on doors as well, but yeah, we are definitely running a little bit slower on, on even the porting itself than I than I would like to be running. We might want to get a dedicated team for that. But then again, I don't know what we necessarily need for porting. If, if I was to think about it, I would assume programmers, right? I don't think we need designers to port something to a different system. So it might just be a case of... Well, it's probably a case of diminishing returns at this point. I wonder if I was to go and say, you know, what do we got? These guys are all doing four tasks right now. Antivirus is doing two. What if I gave it to my antivirus team or my audio team? They're doing one thing right now. That might be the way to go. Let's we'll see tomorrow or next month, I guess, whether or not this goes a little bit faster now that we don't have the teams doing it, juggling a whole bunch of things and looking at it that does look a little faster it's hard to tell really it's it is a little bit hard to tell but you know what we'll go ahead and get the uh, the port job on this going a bit faster as well which you know it's it's moving along which is great so we'll see how that plays out looking in here it's still doing all right we've had nothing last month that did over a million though which is rough that's definitely a rough month and it looks like we have some people that can be educated too we've got some team leaders that are good to go so let's educate you in automation and then i don't really need to worry about any of this but we'll do it anyway and then you can handle education for your marketing team we've got you on the support team we've got you and the audio team so let's i guess educate you I and mean, this is what support team let's just give you systems and all of this good stuff i suppose who am i being alerted to that needs training you Oh, you guys need training as well. So let's get you educated in socialization so you can do meetings. Let's have you do socialization so you can get there eventually. And I don't know. I don't know what this one notifications for. I don't know who else needs educated that I have to manage. Is it you? It might be you. Am I any good at being a team leader? That's something I've not really paid attention to. HR management. Yeah, I can. I can. I can lead a team. Which is fair enough. Specializations wise, all of that, which is great. I probably should look into specific numbers here for the core team, but we'll leave it be for now. We might, we might, we might shake it up a little bit eventually, but it's, it's fine for now. Oh, my three, wait, what is, why am I handling all of these? So the 3D team, the support team, hold on a minute, accept all and close. Do we not have HR management for you guys? So HR management, interesting. Okay, so handle those. That's that's completely fine. Uh, education's fine. You guys aren't hiring, but if you do, make sure it's high salaries. And then support team. We are down to seven people on the support team. And there's supposed to be, I want to say eight. But this guy, can you do hiring? You cannot do hiring. Okay, who is the support team leader? You. Yeah, you need to, uh, we need to get you to level up a little bit further. You're also doing so much work. That support team's got to be overwhelmed. They've got to be overwhelmed. You've also been here for 15 years. You're a couple of years away from retiring. So reasonably, eventually we'll get someone in that can do the job. I think what we'll do though, because the support team office, I think has room for, let's see, this is it right here. We've got 16 desks in there. We have seven people on the support team right now. Let me hire another five just to make sure that they're doing all right. So service and supports and then programming is fine. Compatibility with the support team itself. And that should be fine. So begin looking. We got you guys. So one, two, three, four, five of them. We'll get 12 people in the support team. That should keep them pretty good. That'll hopefully keep them quite happy and should stop them getting overwhelmed. And then looking at all my porting stuff, Wave 6 is coming along nicely. Longsword 4 is coming along nicely. King Doom will pick up eventually. It is just sort of a waiting game right now. I will also say, I don't love seeing King Doom 6 down here at uh, $387,000.
Still a lot of money, just not as much money as I'd like. And this is pretty rough to see. In December 2006, we made it $84,500. That was it. That was our profits. That's, hmm, that's a bit rough. That is, uh, that is definitely a little bit rough. Let's get, uh, let's get King Doom ported here. And we might need to start looking into, we might need to start looking into some basic things. What do you mean I failed? I need sprinklers and offices to protect my employees. I know which one that's going to be. It's going to be that new one. Yeah, it's going to be the new one. All right. So that's, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's great. Really really thrilled about failing the fire inspection because of one office that's that's fantastic i was really hoping that we were going to pass it this year was really hoping we'd pass it only a fifteen thousand dollar fine though so not not all bad but we are now losing money oh i don't like that i don't i don't like that at all uh i guess like i said we'll get the kingdom port done do we want to look into, and I feel like we should, I feel like the answer should be yes. I mean, we did Canvas 2 in, in 2000. I think we need to do another one. I, I think we do another one. Vector was 97 as well. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, well, let's make a sequel to Vector. We're going to do Vector 2. And it's not going to be Nerdsoft Vector 2. It's just going to be Vector 2, and that'll be fine. Uh, we'll give it to, let me see here. Give this to my 3D team and give it to the 3D team here as well. That'll keep us pretty good. Uh, price wise, we'll figure that out. Framework is going to be, I mean, the vector engine is years old at this point, so we'll use it, but we're going to have to bring the tech levels up to uh, up to date a little bit, which is completely fine. So I think the benefits of the engine are going to be, well, non-existent at this point. Can we do, let's see, we still have some wasted interest. Let's do a bit of sculpting. I don't know. I mean, we do have the numbers for it. We could do sculpting. It's going to be a lot of wasted interest. We could do inverse kinematics. Still a lot of wasted interest. Path tracing. About a year. Uh, physics simulation. You know what? Let's do the physics simulation. That's that's what we're going to go for. A motion cap. Actually, what if we just did motion capture? No, we'll do physics. We'll do we'll do physics. And we're going to do $99, uh, $99 is what we're going to go for. Development server. Next page. Operating systems, just going to be that one, and we'll port it. And then for analyzing the market, we kind of want to push for rendering and and modeling, apparently. So we'll suggest, uh, we'll go for the suggested. If we auto balance, it's the same thing. So we'll go for the market suggestion, and that'll be pretty solid. Next page, it's going to be about a year to do this. 100% interest, 56% wasted. Let's develop Vector 2. And then Canvas is going to be a similar story. Let's start working on, instead of Nerdsoft Canvas 3, just Canvas 3. The framework is going to be, let's see, most recent is going to be Easel, which is a great name. I stand by that. Although, again, the tech levels are slightly out of date, which is fine. Uh, price on this, $69, $69, as is tradition. And let's see what we can do here. We'll go for the same operating system, just like so. We will move this over to the 2D team instead of the 3D team. The 2D team, it's only one task right now, so it should be all right. Lead designer on this. What have you done before? You did Canvas 2. It was inspiring, so you can absolutely lead up this one as well, which is completely fine by me. And then I guess looking here, the market on this is design and retouching, so we'll apply that. We still have 100% interest, which is great. We could push a little further sort of this way and kind of keep that uh, keep that expected interest, which I think is is fair enough. I don't I, I think we'll sort of do this. We'll push a little further towards those looking at everything else. I mean, looking at features, I guess, realistically, we should add some new things. I think it's only fair that we add some new things. Drawing tablet support maybe maybe worth doing it does bring that expected interest way up so maybe not levels and curves is or the wasted interest rather i think we'll do we'll do layers is what we'll do we'll throw some layers in there and that'll be the new feature for canvas 3 did i just cancel it no i did. <laughs> just developed it we're good all right so vector 2 and canvas 3 are going to be full steam ahead doors we can kind of 
I, I will keep it on the back burner. I'm going to make these sort of the top priorities, I think, though, because we really need to start getting something out the door. We're we're losing money, which is not good. We did just release wave seven, though. OK, is it good? Is it is it decent? It's great. It's inspiring. It's got prominent marketing. That was unexpected, but all right, let's go ahead and port it immediately. We got the audio team working on that and it can go to those operating systems right there. We will start printing this guy. We'll say a maximum of 100,000 copies just to make sure that there's plenty of that in stock. And I guess we'll see if wave seven ends up being any good. And you know, I've got to be honest. I've, I've got to be honest. It did all right. 3.9 million right there on wave seven. That is, that is solid. That is, that is absolutely what we're looking for. I'm very, very happy about that. We're back on the up, which is great news. I will say, I think, I mean, King Doom 6 came out four years ago and we're still marketing it. I think we can end marketing on, on King Doom 6, which is a little bittersweet because that is again, sort of the end of that, that, that particular franchise, that particular story. You know, it's so 2003 was when it came out again. If we're sticking to my plan, it's 2018 is when we're going to try and have another one come out. So I'd probably want to start development on King Doom, the the reboot version in 20. I, I would say January 2016, if we if we go all in and we just put every feature in there, we could probably get that out the door in 2018. Just a solid two year development cycle. Get all of my teams working on it. The entire company in behind the new King Doom. I think we could do that. I, th I definitely think we can manage. Let's see. Oh, we had someone leave the marketing team. That's interesting. <laughs> that is that is definitely interesting. Okay. Do I want to have a look at my employee benefits and make sure that they are? I mean, they, they should be happy enough, right? If we look at this, are we We're paying them a little bit of money? We're not paying them much. That's so for 14 years with the company, you got $4,800. Um, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double their pension. I'm not, you know what? We're just going to do, we're going to do all of it. We're going to, we're not going to give them a minimum raise, uh, but if we do fire them, we'll give them a hundred percent of their, their wages. That's fine. Uh, paid vacation. Yeah. Free food. Yeah. Christmas bonus. No night shift compensation. You'll get like an extra 10% per hour. We don't do a night shift, but that's fine. We'll apply that and that'll hopefully give them a bit more money when they retire. And if they die, the family gets $200,000 from the company, which is perfectly. Re we just made more money. Oh, wow. It is. Uh, it's it's doing pretty well. Six, six million on wave seven already. That's pretty solid. When are they looking at wave eight going out? 2009. So basically every two years on that guy. And then Longsword 5 is aiming for 2008. So yeah, basically every two years on, on both of those, that's, that's perfect. I couldn't ask for better. You have been nominated for an award in two out of four categories. I got best employer again. Beautiful. I also got best product, hopefully. No. All right. Well, close enough. We got wave seven. That's great. Don't mind if I do. We have a little pop up here. You've received a platinum award for winning best employer five years in a row. That's not bad. Is that what is it? What does that look like? Oh, look at you. Best employer 2007 platinum. That it's worth a million as well. Good Lord. I need another shelf. I don't <laughs> I don't know where to put these awards. Oh, man. Where am I going to where am I going to put them all? I mean, I guess I could I could take out a bookshelf and start putting them on that wall. I could take out the TV and start putting them over there. That might be the way to do it. Let's take out the TV. Let's move the uh, move the shelf to there. And well, I was going to say right next to it, but apparently apparently it doesn't want to behave. I want the shelf. I I don't. Hmm. I, I want them right next to each other is, is kind of what I'm looking for. Although apparently they don't want to go that way. So that's fine. Let's just undo all that I just did and figure out somewhere else for it. I guess this wall, assuming that it's going to behave, which it, it might. Let's have a little look. Do they fit in right? Yeah, there we go. All right. So we'll do this and we'll do this. 
We'll put them a little bit lower and then we'll copy the shelves up to here. We'll do our best employer for 2000 and set. Maybe I'll put these ones up top. Maybe that's what we do. Put these up, put these up top and then we'll do this. So we have the first row is all the original ones. Then 2007 was a good special year. We had best products. So this has to go out here. We didn't actually get, oh man, we got no other awards in 2006 except for best employer. You know what? There's, there's worse to, uh, there's worse things that could happen. It's pretty good looking though. I'm, uh, I'm actually very, very pleased with, um, with this, uh, this look right here. Let's also get a little bookshelf there. I think that's pretty good. And we'll run things again. I, I'm so pleased about this. I wonder if we get anything for 10 years running. I wonder if we can be best employer for 10 years running. That's the real question. That's, that seems like, uh, oh, that seems like a tall order. I also don't know how I qualify as best employer. I'm assuming it's just because I'm not firing people left and right. And because my employees get a lot of benefits. I would have to imagine that's what it is. I mean, my employees seem happy where any complaints that come in get dealt with by the team leaders. I never see anybody complaining. So I'm assuming everyone's thrilled to work at Nerdrasoft. And if they're not, they're being very quiet about it, which is also good. I would, I'm, I'm quite happy with them to do that. Are we being robbed? You guys got away with nothing. That's great. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let me have a little look here. So wave seven, 15 million already. 2.9 last month. That's great. I'm so, <laughs> I love that I've automated just the printing of money at this point. It's not even automating software. I'm just automating money. So Longsword 5 has just been released. It is great. It is ordinary. It doesn't need to make much to make a profit. So we'll go ahead and start printing this guy as well. We'll do a maximum of, let's say 75,000 copies in terms of printing. We will get porting going here as well. So that's going to be the antivirus team can handle that. And we're basically going to put it on, let's just do, we don't need to do this operating system. We do need to do that one though. It's got a lot of people using it. So we'll go for all of those operating systems, make that a top priority for my antivirus team, just to make sure that it's available everywhere. And we can sincerely hope that it's going to make some money. Speaking of money, Doors is now in the alpha stage which is great news. Nerdrasoft Suite, once it's done on iteration two, is going to be moved into the alpha stage as well. Canvas three is doing quite well. And then Vector two, once it moves into iteration four, we're going to move that forward into alpha as well. So let's see. The fire inspector is going to be here tomorrow. Here's hoping for good things this time. Here's here's hoping. Uh, Longsword, how did it do? Last month, 1.3 million. Wave... Uh, Wave 7, 3.9 million last month. That's not bad. That is, that is not bad. Oh, King Doom 6 is under 100,000 users. I don't like to see that. I don't, I don't like to see that at all. Let's, let's bring some of it up to date a little bit. We'll use Wave 7 for the 3D stuff. I mean, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take a chance. We're going to see if we can revitalize this at all. I have my doubts. I'm not expecting a miracle here, but we'll throw an update at Kingdom 6. We'll see if it's, uh, we'll see if it goes anywhere. We'll see if it sort of revitalizes the thing at all. I, again, I have my doubts, but we might as well give it a shot. We might as well see if we can push the active users up a little bit. It was ported to, to, uh, to some new systems, so maybe a part of that project, a part of the money for that project is going into fixing the however many, what, 93 remaining bugs? I think that's fair enough. And would you look at that? We passed a fire inspection. I don't think I've ever done that before. I genuinely don't think I've ever passed a fire inspection before. That's, that's, that's some pretty good news. I'm actually genuinely really pleased about that. It never happens. It just, it just doesn't. Let's see how we're doing in terms of profits again. Last month, almost a 4.6 wave seven is just doing better and better. It is already the fifth. Let me turn on archives. No, 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 no. It's already the sixth most profitable thing that we've ever done. And that is in less than a year. That's not bad. That's 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 pretty good. That is that is actually pretty good. 
especially for something that's automated, especially for something that I had nothing to do with. That is legitimately kind of impressive. Now let's get Vector 2 into the alpha phase there. Canvas 3 is actually coming along really nicely. I think once, um, once it hits beta, we can figure out a release date for it. I'm really, I'm, I'm, we're comfortable. Ooh, the marketing team just lost their leader. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Let's get ourselves a new team leader. We're going to be service compatibility with the marketing team, please. Specialization, HR, and multitasking. Socialization would be nice, but multitasking means that they can handle more tasks at once. So let's see. You've got HR, so you can do everything. Multitasking is improve effectiveness with support and marketing, improve effectiveness with development, improve effectiveness with any task. So, Gail, you are absolutely hired. Let's go and have a look at my marketing team and make sure that you are set up properly. So there you are. You are going to be changing your roles. You're going to be the team leader, and then you can do service sort of secondary. And that should keep my marketing team nice and happy which is great news. That should mean that anybody that resigns will be replaced and all of the complaints can be dealt with by the team leader instead of me. In other news, we have a lot of deals that are being thrown at us right now. And the only ones I'm really accepting are these hosting deals right here. They just get thrown onto the production server and that keeps us pretty solid. We do have some marketing deals. We have some print jobs as well. We could, we could take them. I don't think we're going to, but we could. If we actually have a bit of a look at the server as well, it is perfectly fine. 9% load is absolutely nothing. And if we look at my money, we can see that deals are bringing me in currently 55,000. So nothing really. They're, they're not, they're not, not really bringing in anything worthwhile, but it's fine. It's, it's, it's easy enough. It's, you know, it gets me a reputation with the other companies. They want to you know, use my different platforms and stuff. And speaking of platforms, we're under 5 million users on Nerdrosoft Play. It also has some very old systems. We might want to, we might want to bring that up to date. I think we'll, we'll push an update out for this. I think we'll try and get everybody to, uh, to work on it real quick, just so that uh, it goes a little bit quicker. And if we can get that update out there, which it looks like it won't take that long at all. If we can get that up there, Hopefully it increases the number of users. I actually want to have a look and just see how are we doing? We have 9.2% of the market. We have got a decent number of companies signed. In fact, I think we have, well, I don't know if I can see everyone else's uh, share of the market, but oh no, I can see. Yeah, so they've got 22 signed. We have 17. It would definitely be nice to It'd be, it'd be nice to upgrade this. The tech levels are down there. The features and quality are all right. Stability is solid. I definitely think we're going to want to, uh, we're going to want to work on a new one of those. And I think I said we'd do it after doors. It might have to be before doors goes out. We've been nominated for two more awards. Best employer, still me, by a considerable margin. And then most profitable product. It's not me this time. Wave seven was the second most profitable product. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, uh, willing to accept that. That's, that's completely fine. I'm gonna have to move my, uh, my awards over again. So that's now, uh, it's, it's too much. That's six years of those. Let's get this award out here so that, uh, everyone can see that for all of their, all of their efforts, which is great. Uh, we did manage to update Nerdersoft Play. It really didn't do anything to the platform, so we're not gonna worry too much about it. But that's that's completely fine. I mean, it's oh, it did actually. We just got like two million more users. So that's that's yeah, I'm quite pleased about that. That's actually kind of what we're looking for. A lot more tickets coming in, though. We are starting to find some more bugs in it, which is all right. We do have King Doom 6's final update nearly ready to go. Canvas 3 is also about ready to move into beta, which is fantastic news. So if I could get both of these done, I'd be really pleased. We could maybe get Canvas 3 out early 2009, which would be great news. That's kind of what I'd be looking for. In fact, I might just announce, I mean, what? it's, it's, let's look at our calendar. Canvas 3 is a 2D editor. 
let's look at our calendar for 2008. So there's nothing there. 2009 has, I mean, it's completely open. It is completely open. We could go for, I'm going to say March 2009 for a canvas three. So we'll announce it. It's going to be March. It's going to be 2009. We'll go ahead and say that's all right. We can start working on press releases. We can send out a press build. We can start hyping this thing as well. And that'll be solid. And then hopefully, hopefully my team, my core team can finish this update for, uh, for King Doom. It's at 99%. Come on. They're barely touching it as well. I just, I, I just, I just need it to, uh, there we go. So now it's a hundred percent. It's still not ready to go though. It's once it's flashing red, I think that's what it means that the, uh, the actual update itself is done. So it's, I don't know what's taking them so long with this update, but that's fine. It's below 40,000 active users, which by the way, 40,000 active users is still a fantastic number of, of active users. That is still great. So it's not a complete disaster. It's just that I would like to breathe a little bit more life into it. I'd like to see if we can get a few more sales out of it. That's, that's kind of my goal here. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to, I'm honestly going to throw the rest of everybody at this uh, at this update to get the bugs done. And so now in December of 2008, however long since the release of King Doom 6, we are sending out a little Christmas present to the community. The 30,000 people still playing it. You're getting one final update. And we'll see if that just revitalizes it whatsoever. I have my doubts. I'm really not expecting anything out of that, but we'll we'll see what happens. We'll also go ahead and start printing uh, Canvas 3. We'll say 100,000 copies as, as sort of the maximum there just to uh, to see how that goes. It might be good. It might be bad. People might be excited about it. They might not be. The only thing I'm really interested in. Oh, that's a lot more retirements. I don't I don't like that. I do not like that. I just want to see though. So King Doom. Yeah, we got like 6,000 people out of it. We got we got like 6,000 more active users. That's you know what? That's that's cool. I'll, I'll take that. That's <laughs> that's that's good enough for me. It's uh, that's that's solid. I mean, it's what six years old at this point. It could admittedly probably be ported to. Yeah. Oh, we could port it to phones. Do I want to port it to some more systems? I think I'm gonna I think we're gonna I'm gonna throw the core team at it and let them uh, let them work and port in that thing to uh into a few more systems. We'll see if that ends up making some money as well. At this point, I'm shameless, right? That's that's kind of where we are with King Doom. We're not making a new one, right? That's that's kind of the big thing. This is where the fans will start turning on us. They're sitting there going like, we want King Doom 7. We want King Doom 7. And we're sitting here going, yeah, the best I can do is a mobile port. They're, they're going to love it. I mean, what? You guys don't have phones, right? That's that's how we do this, right? We stand up on stage. It's like, what? You, you guys don't have phones? I'm sure they'll... <laughs> I'm sure that community will will be loyal to uh, to Nerdersoft forever. It'll be uh, it'll be a great time. Is uh, is what it'll be. Anyway, we are releasing Canvas three today, so let's do that and let's see how it's going. So Bug Squad, let's see some small issues. It's four stars, five stars, and four stars. Okay. Marketing campaign, $35,000. Order some copies. We'll do 50,000 just to be sure. That seems solid. We'll move that up to the top. Haven't had a manual support task in a while. Uh, Nerdersoft Play, by the way, 11.8 million users. So, um, yeah, updating that was a really, really good call. It's, uh, it's done pretty well for us. How is Canvas, by the way? Great and inspiring. Ooh. And it doesn't need to make much money. We probably do, however, want to port it. Yeah, we have a few operating systems that it could go to right there. Some older operating systems as well. And then for updating it, we can bring the 2D and the systems up to date here. We'll give it to the 2D team specifically to make sure that that goes ahead. Uh, let's make that a top priority. Bring the port down in terms of priority. And let's see if they can get this update out. It doesn't look like it's going to go out today, which is a bit of a shame because we're going to have bugs in it tomorrow. But... I mean, if they could get it to 50% today, that'd be great. I think they're in a meeting, which is why it was uh, going a bit slow there. But yeah, 50% today, 54% today, that's 
solid. Vector 2 actually is about ready to go. Do we have any 3D editors going out this year? Let's see. 3D editor there in May. Let's let's go for September. Let's let's do Vector 2 in September. It's about to be done. So we'll announce September this year. Might be a little bit short notice, but we're going to go for it and try it out. We're going to do some press stuff. We will send out a press build. We will hype it as well. And we'll see. We'll see if that works out. Let's move Canvas 3 marketing up to the top here as well. Make it a top priority. Uh, marketing Vector 2. Move that to the top. Make it a... It is already a decent priority. Let's see how Canvas does in terms of money. It's a decent piece of software. Negative $18,000 right there. Turned into $1.1 million. Okay. That's... Not as much as I was hoping for, but it's not the end of the world. It is definitely, definitely not the end of the world. It could be a lot worse. And by the looks of it, this really should be ready to move into beta. But apparently it wants to just sit here in... Uh, in uh, there we go. So move that forward. We'll get it going. This Canvas 3 update is good to go as well. So we'll push that out the door. We'll get the porting going as well. Uh, porting King Doom is taking forever. I really don't like that that's the case, but you know what? It's it's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Let's see how we're doing here. 1.3. Okay. I don't... <laughs> I don't love that this hasn't been as successful as like the stuff that gets automated, but you know what? Wait a minute. 76 million? This thing has done 76 million. Has it become, it's my second most successful piece of software and it was automated. I don't know if I feel good about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I feel good about that. Oh man, that's embarrassing. That, that just, that just feels embarrassing is, is what that feels. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. So once again, we're getting best employer best product is not going to me but canvas 3 is doing okay and i think i think that's probably a good time to to call it and leave it there for today we are we're putting together a really nice collection of best employer trophies and i don't i don't know if i want to make more room in this wall for uh for more of them but i think i might have to at this point i'm i'm kind of looking to get best employer for 10 years running I think I think that's gonna have to be my goal, is uh, is to get best employer for ten years running, which is gonna be that'll be an achievement if we can actually manage to do that. That would be that would be really cool. I also I love this one. I'm so proud of that one. Can I put that on my desk? Is there is there room on the desk for that? Like right there? Does that look that looks kind of stupid? Let's let's keep it on the shelf. We'll keep it on the shelf next to the gold version. This is like an honorary one. And I guess this is the progress, right? We got, you know, the five of them and then you get the platinum one. So if we can get another five of them, we might get another platinum one. Oh, wow. Nerdrasoft Wave 8 has just been released. That was a really quick turnaround and it has apparently already made a profit, which is wild to think about. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that at all. Uh, we're not going to bother ordering copies. We're going to start printing this guy as per usual. We'll do another hundred a uh, thousand of those which is completely fine we can look at porting it as we usually do so the audio team can work on that getting it on i mean it does it need to go to those systems you know what it probably doesn't at this point i think it's doing just fine they're going to continue to update it as they as they need to and i've also just set up hr management properly for my core team all of the people that were quitting were on the core team so now this office is set up this is the core team office there's 20 desks in there. There's one over here. So we now have 21 people on the core team. That would explain why things were getting done so slowly by the core team. There were just none of them to do anything, basically. That's that's kind of what was going on there. So we'll throw the core team at this uh, at this port job. We'll make it a bit of a, pri uh, a priority and immediately it's going a bit quicker, which is great news. But I do think, I think we can leave it there. I think, to be fair, we are releasing Vector 2 next month. We'll get Vector out the door. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's decent. Uh, we are going to need to print it. Maybe another 100,000 copies of that. I don't know if that's actually going to be a good idea, a bad idea. It doesn't really matter. But we'll send those out the door. Let's also have a little look at Wave 8 and see how it's gone. 2.7 million. And then Canvas 3, 1.7 million. So we're, we're doing good. 
we're doing we're doing we're making waves is uh is what we're doing we are <laughs> we're definitely making waves let's send out a press build of vector 2 let's then just release vector 2 i have an unreleased press build for the project of like, yeah 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 that's fine so vector 2 it's a step down what do you mean we're relatively unknown we got uh, you know what it doesn't matter. Give me 35,000 for marketing. We're not going to order copies. I don't think we need to move this up to the top. My marketing team is doing a lot, so I don't I don't actually think they're able to fully market anything right now. We might want to expand the uh, the marketing team a little bit. Although I think I mean, how many desks have we got in here? We have 12 and there are 12 people on the team. Although one of those is a leader. I think, or one of them should be a leader. You know what? They'll manage. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure they'll manage. Uh, Vector 2 is great and inspiring. Doesn't need to make much to make a profit either. So hopefully we can see some good things out of that. Or maybe not. 138,000 last month is um, a little bit miserable, actually. <laughs> That's a little bit miserable. How long was it between... Between Vector, uh, Vector was where? Down here? Ew, 12 years. It was, it was 12 years since Nerdrosoft Vector. Yeah, there's no wonder. <laughs> there's no, no wonder no one cared about that one. That was, uh, that was definitely a choice to, uh, to sit on that for so long. It's fine though. We can project manage the the sequels for those. I'm not really in any major rush to uh to get that going. I think doors is still very much going to be the priority. Nerdsoft Suite actually is taking forever, and I I guess it's art is the problem. Five of the ten assigned employees are unqualified for the task. Interesting. So I think we only have one artist and one programmer working on it. I have no idea. That's definitely interesting, though. We might want to uh, might want to look into that a little bit. But I think for the time being, we can probably go ahead and leave it there for today. So let's move doors up in terms of priority. We'll have sweet sort of take its time. This port job is about to be done. It'll be done next month. So, yeah, I think we can go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always... I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.